Hey everyone, I'm in Elden Ring here. I want to talk about the Knight's Cavalry Armor, how you get it, and what it looks like. You can see it looks awesome. It's got this real worn out look to it. If you look up close, it's got like blood splattered all over it, bits of rust and all sorts of stuff. It looks awesome. I love how that's also on the cloak as well. Real worn out look. Uh, the helm looks pretty cool as well. Very dark look to it. Um, the other cool thing about this armor is if we look at the equipment thing here, um, the uh, you can mix the head up if you want with different ones so for example the all-knowing helm you get like a sauron look from lord of the rings which just looks quite cool um some people like to mix this up with malekith's helm uh, which is this one so it's almost like a kind of like knight clad and superhero look that one that looks pretty cool as well so but I, th I think the standard helm looks cool itself in terms of the spec of the armor it's not the most powerful armor in the game it's all right um, there's the stats. I'll just flick through these for you. And the other pain about this knight's armor is there's only one location you can get it from. It's a hard location to get to, and also you have to, to kill two uh, of the knight's cavalry to get it uh, in a row. Uh, so it's quite tough um, to do. So where are we, <coughs> and how do you get here? Well, you've got to get to this area, um, which is the inner consecrated snowfield. And this you need to, this is basically the route to the secret area of Halid Tree, um, which is accessed up here. Um, but to get to here, you're going to use the Grand Lifter Rolled, which is pretty late on in the game. But instead of uh, a lift in the standard medallion, you need to lift a secret medallion called the Halid Tree Medallion. And to get those two parts is a bit of a faff. The first one, you've got to get to this area, go all through this area and get to Castle Sol. Um, there's a big boss man who's pretty hard to beat um, here. Um, what's he called? My brain's gone now. His name is Commander Nile. And uh, once you defeat him, you can go up to the rooftop and in a box you will see one side of the medallion. The other part of the medallion that you need for this is all the way over back in Lakes of Luenia, or how you pronounce it. And it's over here in the village of the Albanax. And somewhere up here, as you go up to the first sort of area, there's a there's like a pot who's actually a dude and if you hidden in a pot and then you'll get the secret medallion if you break that pot um, so when you combine those two things you then go to the grand lift of rolled uh, you lift that secret medallion instead of the normal medallion and you'll see an option to um, lift it rather than just hoist the normal one so it'll give you the options you want to switch medallions you lift that and that will take you to this area of the consecrated snowfield uh, which is where you could go off to do the Halic Tree thing. So once you're here, um, you want to find this area, which is called the Inner Consecrated Snowfield Site of Grace. So you'll see when you get here, it's pretty hard to sort of get through this. There's quite a heavy snowstorm, but you can see it's pretty much straight up from that first area, and you'll find this Inner Consecrated Snowfield. That's where I am. And the main thing I can't show you is actually killing the two knights because I've already killed them, uh, but I can tell, talk to you talk to you about the process and how to do this. So um, first of all, we'll rest at the site of grace. And the most important thing is the knight's cavalry that you need to kill only come out at night. So the first thing you need to do is change to until nightfall when you rest at the site of grace. Uh, this will then trigger them to be moving along with the caravan. And if you look up there, sort of south from here, um, so let's just have a little look on the map. So that this direction, there's this um, kind of uh, little caravan of things coming along. Um, if you take those out, there's something in the treasure truck at the back, but I don't think it was anything particularly exciting. Um, but what should be ex escorting them, and they aren't anymore because I've taken them out, are two of the Knights Cavalry. Now, the group that you've got here um, are quite tough, particularly, see that dude right at the back there? Um, they're quite quite vicious um, so you don't want to have them all sort of attacking you at the same time um, so what you can do is use a bow and then pull one out one of these out so um, for example let's just pull that dude so if you shoot with a bow from here <laughs> you might have to manually aim like that he'll then come attacking me whereas the other lot will stay where they are so I can take him out obviously with arrows from here anyway he's a bit weedy so he's not so much of a problem, it's these ones that are more of the problem. Um, but it, the knights, you'll see one march in this side, one march in that side. Um, so do that with a knight, and then pull the knight back towards this snowfield. And for some reason, they're not so vicious when they're up around here, 
or they certainly weren't for me and I found them easier to take out. Uh, you want to avoid those two blue balls because if they come flying at you they will smash you to pieces. They're nasty, nasty magic. Um, so you've got to do both knights. So you want to make sure you are well stocked up on um, your uh, flasks. Uh, horseback works quite well um, against them and uh, yeah just to you know have a good old battle against them but you can't rest between them you have to kill the two of them uh, and then the last one will drop the knight's cavalry armor that we can see here and that's it really that's what you've got to do i don't think it's particularly tough to do um, but that's how you get the the armor so if that was useful to you give us a thumbs up please that's much appreciated any comments welcome and i'll see you again in another tutorial thanks so much